Okay, got my tablet going, guys. That way I can maybe record a little bit more. Everybody's going off to school, so I had to see them off. Um, let's see. Let's get y'all. Where's my hand at? Okay, let's move it somewhere. Oh, there it is. There it is. Wow, this tablet is a little bit more different to control. I don't know if you can even see my hand in there like that. Well, let's, let's let them have it like that first. Okay, and then we'll move it back. I'm trying to get a good piece. There it is. See? Can you see it or no? <laughs> kind of weird. Where's my hand at? And I can see it right here. There it is, way up there, see? Well, I was gonna say, um, I was talking on my other, uh, as I was making brunch today, and um, we have had some people that we love very much uh, pass away, and a young person, she's, you know, a um, friend of ours, and, um, very sweet. She wanted to do some of the um, craft fair when we, on, in November, but she won't be able to make it, obviously. But, you know, we were just talking about um, the different things that we were going to do for it, but she was going to contribute uh, necklaces and stuff like that, which she does really beautiful artwork. She will be resurrected one day, um, and we look forward to that. So we got to keep doing our best to, um, you know, keep you know, being faithful so that we can see her one day again. But she's our friend and she was our friend and um, her family's very beautiful and they lost quite a few people in their family the past few years. Um, and it's just sad, you know, we just, you know, we feel for them and we all grieve and we look forward to a time when there won't be any more death. That enemy will be done away with and that is going to be a time when we will just shout for joy, we'll be so happy. But until then, we do have to go through these trials sometimes and we um, want people to get through these terrible times. You know, um, also, um, you know, the famous uh, basketball star died, Kobe. You know, um, I could believe when Michael Jackson and Prince and, the, you know, people like that, Farrah Fawcett, when they died, I was like, oh man, you know, that makes you see that there is, you know, it doesn't matter if you have money, um, you can't stop death if it's going to happen, you know, and it's not like, um, it's a horrible thing, you know, it's a enemy. So that's why um, we look forward to one time when, when uh, the new world comes and we won't have death wasn't meant to have death wasn't meant to be you know because at the beginning it says that we were to live forever but that couple which is our parents from uh, you know the beginning Adam and Eve who bore everybody from the beginning you know started the line um, they did sinful uh, acts like took of the tree that they were told not to or they would die I'm just going to put the peas in there. These folks. <laughs> I'm calling you folks now. They don't want to eat from my hand. Okay, fine then. Eat them like that. But you did a beautiful thing. You did eat from my hand. I saw you. I felt it too. They kind of like tugged at it. It was kind of weird. You know, like. It was weird. It felt weird. But anyways, we we're talking about the Adam and Eve, how they, um, took the fruit and you know the reason that they caused death for all of us is because they disobeyed you know he asked them not to eat that fruit he said you can eat every tree now they had tons of fruit to eat from I mean I'm sure there's fruit that we've never even heard of that were on those trees that were just perfect I mean you know like can you imagine biting into something that was made in a perfect world uh, no pollution nothing and I bet you it was so delicious and then your senses are perfect you're just made and smelling the fresh uh, breeze and um, just a beautiful, beautiful paradise, you know? 
And he asks you, your creator who made you, who given you everything, gave you the earth. He said, just cultivate it, make it beautiful and enjoy it. Enjoy it. You know, plant your food, plant your, lay in the grass, the dew comes up and wets it and have children, you know, be fruitful. I mean, what's more beautiful than that? You know, you're going to have a beautiful, perfect husband, perfect wife, uh, going to have perfect children. You're going to have perfect food, no sickness, no death, no diseases. And the only thing he asks you not to eat that tree that of the knowledge of good and bad. Don't eat that one in the middle. That's mine. Do not eat it. And he probably would have gave it to him later. And that, I think that's the tree of life rather. And that's the tree that would give you everlasting life. And um, he says, don't eat that one. All it is is rules, you know. Just like you have a boss, they tell you don't touch that uh, set of uh, papers over there because those I'm doing something else with or, you know, whatever he's telling you not to do it. No, this is our creator. He made us. He made us uh, male, female. He made us beautiful humans. And he asked, don't touch that, okay? And they did it anyways. Eve went seduced by the devil, which uh, he was supposed to be watching them. And he says, you know, did God really say, you know, that's in the beginning. And she, she, she repeated back what God had said, you know, because Adam told her, obviously, because she was the second one made. And it was probably repeated again. We, it doesn't tell the whole thing all over again, but it says that they were told, if you eat from it, you're going to die. Now, um, in the Bible, it talks about a day to our beautiful creator is like a thousand years, okay? If you look in there, you can look that up. Um, so he says, in the day you eat from it, you will surely die, okay? The day you eat from it. Now, they ate from it. They lived. They were kicked out of the garden and so forth. And some people might say, hey, they didn't die that day. But yes, they did because they died at 900 and something years old, which would be that day because it wasn't the thousand years weren't up. It was still 900 and something. Okay. We have a loving God. And um, they were able to experience the beautiful paradise for like 900 years. But the thing is, is their son was did wicked things. He killed his brother, Cain, you know, killed Abel. And they witnessed a lot of wicked things because of their sinfulness. And um, nobody was perfect anymore. After they sinned, they, imperfection went downhill and um, no more paradise for them. So that's why we're going through these things. We've got death and we're going to keep de uh, dealing with the uh, consequences of somebody so selfish at the beginning. You know, they had it all. They had everything. I mean, can you imagine being somewhere where you don't have to lock your doors? You don't have to worry about when you plant something that it's going to not, maybe it won't grow, maybe it will. If it does grow, will it be good fruit or bad fruit, you know? Um, just walk in a beautiful paradise and you have everything. Anything that you ask for, you're going to get. You could build whatever you want. You can make it, I mean, can you imagine what it would be like today if that paradise was still here? The whole earth would be a paradise. You know, you go to beautiful places and you see like uh, Mazatlan, Hawaii, Bahamas, different places where they have areas that they've purposely fixed to look parada paradise type uh, atmosphere. Um, that would be the whole earth. So that's why we keep holding on, guys. Just keep keep on listening. If you hear something good, which is called good news, and I have that recorded um, every week. I don't know. Sometimes I don't do it every week. I'm trying to. You'll hear something good. Um, look for that and keep hold of that good news because everybody has a chance to be in the paradise again. It wasn't lost for us in the future, but we have to listen to what the creator is telling us. And he's telling us, do your best. Don't steal. Don't kill. Don't corrupt other people don't do mean things, you know, try your best. We're imperfect and we're going to make mistakes, but we've got that uh, promise that if we do our best, that we can have that paradise again. He wants good people in the new world.
So don't worry. You know, you have death coming and so forth. And we're going to continue to have that until it's done away with. And there's videos that I have recorded um, that talks about why there's uh, death and what started the beginning of it. And we know by hearing what I just said that the devil has uh, corrupted a lot of people. And some people just do bad things because they want to do bad things. So we have to stop doing that. You know, like if you're doing bad things, stop it. If you want to be in a beautiful paradise with good people, because just like a classroom when a teacher's like, everybody's listening and they're following along, they're not going to keep people corrupting the classroom. They're going to be telling the teacher they don't want to listen. Maybe they're not doing their work. Where does that person go? They go to the principal's office. They're going to say, hey, get out of here. Go to the principal's office and you get your punishment. Everybody else that's listening, they get to stay. That's the same way with the new world. It's going to be people that want to listen to the creator when he's telling them, don't do this. Don't do that. He has a right to tell us that. He gives us free will. But if you decide not to do it, then you're on your own. He's not going to be there. So it's better to listen and you'll have a beautiful life. It's not some kind of burdensome thing. It's, it's a beautiful thing. He knows what's good for us. Just like we know what's good for our health when you eat right, when you drink. Where'd you get those, that knowledge from? And he's going to teach you. And that Bible is our um, blueprint, it tells us. Just like a, a book for a car or any kind of equipment. You get equipment that you, a washer, a dryer, a intricate equipment, computers. You've got a manual that comes with it. That Bible is our manual as a human. And we want to treat each other beautiful. Let's keep trying to treat each other the best we can. And we have that helper, which is our, the son. You pray about it. Help me to do better. That's all you got to do. And if you try, what happens? Only can get better. So anyways, the fish aren't eating out my hand anymore. But look at the video before this, and you will see them enjoying taking a little nibble from my hand. And the more I mess around with them, the better it's going to be. So you'll see future vi videos with them. They'll probably be my friends. <laughs> okay. Um, until the next video, look forward to some more crafts and things because I got lots to do. And I do have some videos where I've cooked and different things. I'm going to have a mukbang a little later on. I'm gonna, if they save me some food, I don't know. I told them to eat it. You know, they went to school. They took their little, made a little wrap out of their eggs and um and the bacon and stuff, but I could probably whip me up a little bit more. So I'm here by myself and uh, talking to myself. But actually, I'm not. I'm talking to you guys. 13 minutes, guys. That's a record. So hopefully it's not too long. Please watch it to the end. Like, subscribe. Thank you, sub subscribers, and continue to watch because in, we're having some good future things coming up. Um, 100 subscribers, and we're going to have a party, guys, and giveaway and all kinds of goodies so keep watching and keep hoping that you get the giveaway <laughs> okay i might even give 100 giveaways who knows no i'm not gonna give 100. uh we'll give probably quite a few within the time i'm on youtube but for the hundredth i don't know what it's gonna be but we'll see okay we'll see you guys later talk to you later enjoy the day <laughs>